Jesus. <coughs> Jesus, my dear. Identified as two. Jesus, thank you, Lord, for sitting this way. Jesus, my dear. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. I'm free. You're free, brother. I'm free. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Greatness is coming. Amen. I receive. Is coming. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, uh, this is uh, Prophet Nathan Mofia from Undola, Zambia, Copper Belt. And today uh, I've come to Charis uh, Ministry uh, for the glory of God. Because what I've been praying for, what I've been asking God for, uh, God has answered me today. The reason that he made me to come to Cherry's uh, ministry 
uh, I've been having a lot of challenges financially. Uh, my church was not growing, and uh, my family, there's been so much uh, oppressions. All angles of my life, nothing was happening. So I, 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 I was in my sleep. Then I saw uh, the, the, the angel being something that looked like Prophet T.B. Joshua, but I could not see the face clearly because it was glittering. Then the apostle was closer to that, uh, that light and we were on the mountain. That, 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 that dream, when I woke up, I realized that what could be this dream? But I started searching through. I, I love sometimes watching uh, Prophet T.B. Joshua. So I came across the, the clip for the Apostle J.B. Makananisa. So I said, no, this is the place I should go. God is speaking something. And for sure, uh, within a shortest period of time, within two months to be specifically, God made it possible that I'm here today and I've received my, my portion. Yeah, so when I, I, I first, when I, we, we were aligned there, the man of God speak, pointed me that you are, a, you are a man of, you are a pastor. So I just uh, thanked God and he said, uh, don't worry about uh, the small church, the number, focus on Jesus Christ. Then when we went inside for one-on-one, -on -one, now that's when he started saying about everything about my life. And not just that, the moment he prayed for me, I find myself roaring, and this has never happened. I've gone to powerful men of God all over the world, moving around to search for God's direction, but it has never been like this today. I've, I've received my own, because I've been, as I said earlier on, I've been praying for the house, I've been the ministry, <coughs> but financially it has been a challenge for me. So the man of God said, I'm seeing you, soon God is going to bless you with a house. Then he mentioned about uh, finances. He mentioned about you have been struggling financially. You want to start this, life is not growing. You, also, you want to start business, but things is not progressing because of the family idols from your father's side and your mother's side. And uh, he mentioned about how did you get married to your wife? So I said, no, uh, for me, uh, before I married my wife, I pregnanted her, then he, we, we reconciled, we prayed over it, then we got married. Then he said, no, don't worry, God, will, that's why I've asked you, because I was seeing like a son outside marriage, but the Lord will reunite you and everything will be fine. Then afterwards, he also prayed, he, he mentioned about you are lacking a spiritual father. Then I said, I realized that what meant me to come here, and I mentioned that actually, the reason why I came here, I needed a father figure in my life. So everything, starting from A up to Z, my life has been analyzed and everything is clear. So I'm thanking God and I'm humbled and I'm privileged for me to be here, it's God's time. Because the moment he prayed for me, the moment he started praying for me, I felt like I'm turning around and I was, I lost control. And I just found myself on the floor and I was tired. Now I'm free and I'm free forever in Jesus' name. Yes, and uh, a, 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 a short encouragement, especially for a younger man, young uh, men, pastors all over the world, those that are listening to me and those that will come across this script worldwide, come to Charis Ministry uh, here in South Africa for the Apostle J.B. Makananisa, and you will receive your only uh, portion because here there is grace. Impartation is here, healing is here, whatever you are looking for, you find them here. I thank God because I have moved all over the world seeking for men of God to, just to speak in my life. And unfortunately, all, all the way I've gone, I've never gotten what I wanted. But today, my Jesus has fulfilled that which I came for. 
and I'm sure and I'm faithful that from now my life, my ministry, my family shall never be the same again in Jesus' name. Thank you very much. Thank you. And give us a testimony of the grace Amen. that is receiving here today. Amen. And you want to be used by God in this way. Amen. And he knows in this country there is a problem. Amen. Thank you. Jesus. Yes, I touch his heart. Yes, yes, yes. Uh -huh. Touch his heart, okay. Uh -huh. I touch his heart. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yeah. Cousin Gula, Francis Tan, Tan, Cameron, today receive the name of Jesus. from a strong background. Their fathers, they worshipped idols and he has been strong but we have been possessing him. So you're the one who has been doing that? This is a Kasmo boy who is going to be international prophet but we have been restricted. No, man, Rick. He's speaking in Italian. <laughs> we, so we, let him receive this grace. You leave him. You leave him this man today. He must go and do God's work. Why do you block him like this? In their fathers they worshipped us and their mothers they worshipped us. And who are you who are worshipped? We are idols from, from the ancient. We disappear and they appear. We are strong. We are strong. <laughs> Disappear yeah. and reappear. It's coming from the very, very long lineage of witchcraft. Oh. So now this young man is very strong, but we have oppressed him. Have we have squeezed him. him. We have nullified him. So nothing happened to his life. So when he travels to go for prayer, what do you do? We are how come we have exposed us here? Huh? I think we need to leave him now, it's time. You want to leave him now? He's an international man. He's a prophet of the world. He will speak to the nation. He will speak to the countries. He will speak to the country. Ma, Reka. Uh, you are going so quick. You are moving fast. Uh, uh. This man says he has never experienced this. And you can see what is happening here. Mm -hmm. That spirit is coming out. Amen. And the spirit of God is entering him. Amen. <coughs> hey, what's going on, sir? I'm sorry, sir. Eh? I'm sorry. You're sorry for me? I was dead at the time, you said. I don't know what happened. You don't know what happened? Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Brother, I feel like I'm learning, I'm tired. Huh? And I've never felt like this before. This hasn't felt like that. I've never. Mm. Thank you, Jesus. You really feel like what? I'm now I'm feeling like I'm I'm light. Very light. Yeah. Yes, because I was having like I'm from learning. From, I've learned a very long list. So when you were traveling to churches, why this demon was still was hiding? I was just feeling like I've not been fulfilled, but uh, mm. it was not being exposed. Mm. Yes, so, I've, so I've been praying very much. Sometimes I pray long hours, mm. but uh, Everything, my life, my family, mm. nothing to show. Uh, the Lord loves you. Amen. 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 You will make it. Amen. Now uh, you have overcome this thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. It's God who sent you here. Amen. 
set you free for his work. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and you have never manifested. Amen. Huh? No, no, I can't. I have never manifested. And you were traveling everywhere. I have traveled. So the prayers you were praying when you were traveling there has worked for you yet. Sir, you also had an opportunity of sitting down with the Apostle one on one. Please tell us what he said to you and please confirm it. Yeah, yes, uh, I had the privilege to, to talk to the man of God one on one. And what he says, first he mentioned that where are you coming from? I'm coming, uh, to, I'm coming from Zambia. Then he mentioned that he, I'm, I'm seeing you have been traveling from Lusaka, going to, have you been to Kazungula? So I was, dis I was uh, a little bit disturbed because I, 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 I did not, I wanted, I thought maybe I have, he meant to stay there. But I realized that I was, I passed through that place when I was going to Kabolon. So he started telling me now everything that happened from Lusaka to, to Kazungula to Francis Town to Gabolon. I went to see someone, a prophet of God, a prophet Cedric. And then he mentioned that he, you have been moving a lot. Why have you been moving a lot? And very true, I've been moving a lot, trying to seek guidance from God because things have been not okay in my life. But uh, thank you, Jesus, that today the, ap the apostle did mention that uh, your life shall never be the same again. Then he, 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 he mentioned that in six months' time, you will see the grace of God. What you have been moving all over Nigeria, wherever you have been going through seeking uh, God's direction concerning your ministry, your life, your destiny, today the Lord has done it for you. So I was very happy. He mentioned something that he, uh, this thing the that uh, the, the apostle will speak to you. And surely I, 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 I explained, then the apostle said, wait, you will see me. Yes, there's something that he, the prophet said, you are lacking a father figure to help you, to guide you. And uh, the apostle mentioned that you're coming here, truly God sent you here. You, you did not come here just for coming, but you were you were instructed because I saw uh, in my dream, I saw an angel being looking like Prophet T.B. Joshua and also the apostle was like uh, closer to Prophet T.B. Joshua. Then me, I was behind. I was in, on the, we were on the mountainside. So I never knew the, the man of God. So from my dream, that's when I came to know him. After, I, after the dream, it took some days. Then I, I was Googling through WhatsApp, I mean Facebook. Then I came across him. Then I, my heart was moved that I should go and see the, the apostle. Then from the time he has prayed for me, I sensed peace within myself. That I've never experienced from the time I've been moving around. And I know that I've received my blessing. Yes, I will, I will surely come for testimonies. And so how do you feel after a one-on-one -on -one session with both the Apostle and Prophet Andres? I was so much uh, satisfied and I'm satisfied because what I was looking for, I've met them today. Yes, after meeting both the Prophet and the Apostle, what they mentioned was direct to what the situation I've been going through. Yes exactly to what I've been going through. So my advice, even for the younger men, especially the, the prophets, the pastors who are coming up, they should seek direction from here, South Africa. The man of God, the grace of God of impartation, the grace of God is upon this uh, the apostle, J.B. Makananisa. So wherever you are, wherever you are listening, whoever will come close to this uh, 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 interview, I'm encouraging you that you should come to South Africa and receive your own blessing. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.